this one started and we are underway from Minneapolis. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Kamara gets it again on second down. And he powers his way up past the 30. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Throwing now is Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate. You've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. To the 43, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 43 here, second down and seven. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Here's Carr. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. We gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. On second down, Kamara. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Carr. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. D.J. Wadham got off his spot quickly and got to the quarterback. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. First carry for the Boise State Bronco, Alexander Madison. And this will be a Vikings first down as the tackle made at the 26-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first and ten, Dobbs. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, if I have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. On play action, it's Dobbs. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. Back to throw Dobbs. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Dobbs. Throw left side, and Osborne has it. And he will have a Vikings first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Holding. Offense. 
All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second and 14. Going to run with Madison again. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Joseph's got it, and the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive that'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. Joseph now to kick this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. To throw its car. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. like right at the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Carr. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Makai Blackman's got it, and a return across midfield. 46-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You called that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. the play fake. Here's Dobbs. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. 
Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Dobbs is throwing. And his throw is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Dobbs. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. It's taken to the 26. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Carr now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. But there's an incompletion, Wagner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Carr. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Car now on first down. He gets this complete to Shaheed. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Thomas. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
try to pound it in, Kamara. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing now is Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early presented himself no reason to wait go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown point after right down the middle and that makes it a 7-3 lead so that drive takes him down the field in eight plays and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And the Vikings going to take over here one more time before the half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Into the hands of the rookie Jordan Addison. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. This time they'll just keep this on the ground and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here so we have reached halftime with the visiting saints out on top as we'll head down to orlando that's where we find our man jonathan coachman at our ea sports halftime report coach okay brandon thanks very much back to you guys in a bit but first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach. We were certainly yeah, treated to an entertaining like first half. Big Both these teams with some high points, but maybe a couple of low points as well. So, so it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got a re- Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 
20. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already. And another first and 10. Paul. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Throwing here is Hall. And that is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Hall. This one caught by Osborne, right side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. This second and four. Another carry now for Madison. They will swing the ball. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Madison running left. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Madison is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That almost felt like the defense said he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. On the toss, Madison. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. You can almost feel him thinking as he's running the football. Just one more block, anything to get me to the perimeter. And around the corner, couldn't quite get there. Ends up getting spilled for a loss. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. Now Hall. There's Hawkinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Carr to throw. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Daniil Hunter able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. Now the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. D.J. Watto picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring, because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Hall. They'll get this underneath to Madison. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Paul to throw it. His throw incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A little extra pressure with this one for Greg Joseph. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Joseph is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is 
Is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Joseph now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And I think he was able to get back on it. He was. So they will get the ball after all, but that could have been a disaster. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks <laughs> and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10. At their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a play fake. Carr. Downfield, and he's got a lob A big-time play there for New Orleans. 44 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth-quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven from the 20. They run it again with Kamara. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they wouldn't move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Carr. tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Carr. Got to have this one. That is caught. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. They'll get this out to Kamara. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. In motion right, Alave. And they'll fake the jet sweep there instead. Hand to Camara. And he is in for the score. 
touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by one. A minute 55 remaining. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Now Dobbs. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Dobbs. Pass complete, it's Madison. Not good, they didn't move the football an inch and precious time ticking off the clock. The Vikings gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Now a man picked up after two years in Detroit. It's Jamal Williams. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jamal Williams, 22 yards. And the Saints get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. 
Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down, and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So now the story changes. Trailing in this one now. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion field goals aren't going to help you yeah but how about that first play of the drive just to get them started nice game got some positive momentum going they're on their way and they don't have to rush here comes second down at five he's back to throw now a quick throw there but it's going to be incomplete that's well, pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill when your guys are struggling to put points on the board all afternoon there's an incompletion right there this definitely four down territory at this point but a critical third down here back to throw I oh, had a man open but he missed him and it's incomplete Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete, and he is going to pick up the Vikings first down. They need it for they got eight, and it results in a conversion on fourth down. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Back to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up first and ten here. Dobbs. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. They'll come up now on second down. Dobbs is throwing. And that is incomplete. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip, try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. And a fun, close ball game comes to 